Hello, my name's Trevor Coley, founder of Sontronics Microphones. I introduced the STC2 as the very first large diaphragm condenser that we offered from Sontronics. These are designed and developed for the digital recording era. And this means at the top end of the frequency range, we have this super smooth high frequency roll off. And what that means is simply at that top end, if you're recording cymbals or anything with a, a high frequency bias, it rolls off beautifully and smoothly and doesn't trigger anything such as dithering, that horrible, nasty artifact that comes from digital recording where the processor just cannot track the signal enough. The important point for me was to make sure that we offered a microphone that was both accessible in price and offered high quality at the same time, something you could rely upon. Uh, this family consists of the SDC20, the SDC2, and the SDC3X. These microphones have uh, certainly the same um, circuit design throughout, but with some additional characteristics as you go up the range. And they're also part of a pack, as we call it. So that pack includes the microphone, the shock mount, a pop filter, a cable, and also a, a vinyl pouch for keeping the microphone safe when you're not using it. And to explain some of the functions with the mic, so the basic STC 20 pack microphone comes in this satin black finish and is essentially a cardioid only microphone. So no switches, no additional controls at all, just a very simple, straightforward, high quality, large diaphragm condenser. And um, again, very importantly, our microphones are constructed of the very highest quality materials. In fact, we use brass extensively in the construction of these mics and that helps significantly towards the quality of sound output. So moving on from the SDC20 to the SDC2, again, same form factor and identical microphone other than the fact that this also has a pad and a filter function. So a minus 10 decibel pad or attenuation, which helps when recording very loud sound sources. So for example, drums or brass instruments where you might have an extremely loud transient response and you need to control that without distorting the internal amplifier. There's also a minus 75 hertz cut, so a high pass filter. Um, and this corresponds for use, especially, for example, in a domestic environment where you might have sounds outside that are, are subsonic, low frequency rumbles that might come from traffic or something like that, um, which is quite common. And these things get picked up by the microphone because it's so sensitive. So rolling that filter on essentially cuts those frequencies out very gently and very naturally. And it corresponds, in fact, that 75 hertz with the lowest fundamental frequency of the male voice. So you can be sure that if you're recording vocals by popping that filter on, you're not going to lose anything from your, your sound quality. And um, this microphone is available in the satin black and also a nickel silver finish. So options are available there if you prefer one or the other color. Um, moving on finally to the STC 3X here. Uh, this model is, again, identical in form factor, but has a next step up here. So what we've got here is a two-stage filter, a two-stage pad, and on the reverse, three polar patterns. So this has the cardioid, figure of eight, and omnidirectional polar patterns. A really flexible microphone, almost a Swiss army knife as such. So when we take a look at the filtering, we have a 75 hertz high pass, and a 150 hertz high pass. So by moving up to 150 hertz, you might be recording instruments or something, a vocal, maybe female vocal, where you don't actually need those lower frequencies or you're just trying to remove something that you just don't want to hear. Uh, and this can be really effective. So that mic has that function. And over here, we have a minus 10 and a minus 20 decibel drop off. So again, if you're recording something, particularly drums in this instance, or maybe guitar cabinets, electric guitar cabinets, the minus 20 function will make sure that this microphone will not overload. So just to explain once again, the pad or attenuator is stopping the microphone circuit overloading and distorting. Once again, on the rear, just this simple switch here moves you from cardioid and then either side across to omnidirectional or figure of eight. Omnidirectional gives you, as its name suggests, the pickup pattern all around the microphone. So if you're recording an ambient sound environment, if you want to pick up the room, for example, or if you want to pop the microphone in front of a drum kit to bring in natural reverb and ambience into the room, or if you're recording a group of singers or, or musicians around a single microphone, 
omnidirectional will facilitate that. The figure of eight pattern enables you to pick up two sections of the microphone, so front and rear, but this also gives you a null point either side. This is really helpful when recording two vocalists or instrumentalists, for example, or a vocalist and an instrumentalist. Um, it's also quite helpful if you are a singer-songwriter. So, for example, if you're playing an acoustic guitar, by actually putting the microphone on its side like this, with one pickup at the top and one pickup below, it will pick up both vocal and instrument at the same time. Again, a flexible tool. It comes into its own when paired with another microphone with exactly the same functions, which then gives you the ability to record in every possible stereo format there is. So again, a very flexible microphone. Importantly, all of our Sontronics microphones come with a guaranteed lifetime warranty, so you know you're protected for life. Thanks for listening.